I do have two cameras on me. I got the DJI right here. I've got the Canon M6 Mark II, which is hitched to a Rode arm mic similar to this one uh, with a, a Sigma 1.6, in case you're interested. I have the Rode NT1, a very old mic, running through my Rodecaster Pro. And um, that's my setup. I'm giving you that. Um, here comes a little different view of the actual. My setup with the Rodecaster. As we're recording, you can see um, I've got my, and I'll just trigger this up, background music. Which is very nice, which I can completely shut off. Over here, I've got my volume mic, and I have my controls over here for my headphone. So I can hear what I'm recording. And it's recording to an SD card, and you can see my inputs. You can see the levels. You can see that it's coming through and how the left and right channel are recording. Now, I have plenty of others. I could hitch directly to a phone, Bluetooth, uh, direct USB in and four other microphone setups. But clearly I do not need that. Um, what you will see is I don't need that at all because I have no guests today. I just want to talk about the ease of this thing switching from one function to another. You know, I can get the clapping in the background of how good this is. You can get a laugh track in there. You can add different things. Uh, it's not really funny, but you can add different. You can add different tunes to the background, and you can be as mysterious as you want to be. But all in all, the Rodecaster Pro I have been using for six months, more than six months for, you know, <laughs> sorry about the, you know, I've been using it for this van life episodes of me traveling in a Mercedes Benz van. And I have enjoyed it a lot and I've had my great experiences. I haven't had any really bad, bad experiences. I've had mostly pretty pleasant uh, trips COVID-19 really shut that down. I, I did travel from the East Coast to Colorado. Spent a couple of weeks. Um, but it wasn't like in the past where I've been able to get away for almost a month um, at a time. And I don't think you realize the freedom until you like don't have the clock. Like I got to get back to work looking over your shoulder and I'm not retired. I still work. I had to go to work, but I, I enjoyed that a lot. The Rodecaster Pro that we're looking at here today really allows me because I do have uh, two, two cameras shooting at the moment, which is, which is kind of good when you're videoing. I actually have three sound inputs. I have the Rodecaster Pro. I have a Rode. I have a Rode Wireless Go Mic. Almost forgot the name. <laughs> wireless Go Mic, which is going directly into the camera. So we'll be able to compare up the sounds there. And then I have this little contraption which is the DJI microphone recording to the little Osmo Pocket. This little thing is recording in, in 4K, I think. I think I'm recording in 4K and recording the sound. Now, I know you'll be able to clearly hear the difference with this NT1 mic compared to lapel mic or this wireless uh, microphone to DJI. I, I think you'll be able to tell. Sorry for hitting this. Might look a little better. There we go. So you can see the microphones. You can see me or you can kind of see me. 
and you're hearing me, but all through the Rodecaster Pro. And that's all it takes to set up. Inputs, mic, headphones. It's a pretty inexpensive thing to do. And I like it. It, uh, it has other features, and maybe if we just touch base on that. You can change individual mic uh, sounds or what type of mic, so it works the best with various microphones. Of course, it definitely works great with Rode microphones. Uh, they have that dialed in for each of their type of mic. But um, the panel's pretty easy to use. You can USB-C link it to your computer and you can download your own sounds and tracks, whatever you want. You can download it into those tracks. You actually have 16 tracks that you can download into. Actually eight, <laughs> let me go eight. I believe there's 16 that you can switch. I haven't even gone that far. And the recording you put in is I put in a pretty big size card, so I don't, I don't take it out and replace it very, very often. So, you know, let in the comments uh, of the YouTube, just email me, tell, ask me any questions you want. I just wanted to say six months later, very easy to use, and wow, you couldn't have any better piece of equipment. Now it is 500, 600 bucks before microphones, headphones, but it is all you need in order to really record, post. There's no other costs. You can actually post podcasts for free. And it, it really, it really is. They have an app that you can actually do your podcast completely on your phone. You just won't have the sounds and the rest that like this has. If you're interested in the, what I use, there's going to be an ad in the beginning <laughs> that explains what I use for posting my podcast to all of the different sites. So I can be available on Apple iTunes and all the rest. But this episode's about the Roadcaster Pro and I've gone on way too long about gear setup. There it is, all in one, YouTube, and a little bit about the Roadcaster Pro. I'll do more on van life, but it's coming. It's winter. It's COVID. It's it's horrible. Hopefully, everybody gets a shot. <laughs> Summer comes. Everyone's on the road. I got a feeling it's going to be brutal. Uh, trying to camp and go places this summer. I think places are going to be swamped. But that's van life. We'll catch you on another one. Subscribe, like, whatever you do, whether it's on the podcast channel or here, it's much appreciated. Thanks very much. I look forward to seeing you.